Merry New Year, welcome back you beauties, yes I am back, I know it's been a while, it is now the 11th at the time of recording this, but been enjoying the holidays, I hope you all are well. Let's bring on my second year of YouTube, super excited to do it, this is my first review of the year, so let's get on with it and bring on 2018. Downsizing is directed by Alexander Payne and stars Matt Damon is the story of Paul Safranek, played by Damon, and his wife Audrey, played by Kristen Wiig, who decide to downsize their lives. Now, downsizing is when you become really, really tiny, and basically all of the money that you have owed, like own and all the assets you own are then quantified into what it would be if you were small. This makes them rich, it makes all of their debts go away, it makes all of their worries go. But things don't go that swimmingly. Now I went to a screening of this movie. Thank you again, Unlimited Card. Hashtag not an ad, but again, hashtag buy one, get one, get one, get one, get one. Get one. And I thought, well, the trailers look funny. This movie looks quite clever, almost like another version of The Borrowers, but, you know, taking parts of that and making it clever and about life and all these things that we can all relate to. Well, I can just say now, well done, brain, you idiot. You got it very, very wrong. Now, as I said, I really thought I'd go into this movie that was clever, really looked at how we're destroying the planet, etc. <sighs> but actually, what I got was a lot of dead jokes, a plot that was so confusing. Everything literally made no sense to me. There were so many dead jokes. Look, listen, I just need to... I'll be back. I'll, I just need to just... I, no, just... Okay guys, I've had my time to scream into a pillow, so let's just, th this is an easy one for me, so let's just get the rant over with. Look, I mean, I'll start on a pretty good note. I think for the first 20 minutes, I was at least intrigued at how this movie was gonna go. There was a reasoning for downsizing. They had friends that had done it. They were telling them why it was so good. I mean, good performance there from Jason Sudeikis. I'm a big fan. I really think he was quite cool. And I really did enjoy the whole, okay, the CGI looks funny when they move the people, but it's it's people being tiny. I understand that. I'm okay with that. It was never really an issue. But all the reasons were really solid in the first 20. I was thinking, okay, they could really run with this, really sort of use it to show us why we should be slowing down on planet Earth, etc. But actually, after that first 20 minutes, a lot of things were running around in my head thinking like, for instance, why was Kristen Wiig even there? Complete waste of talent. I love Kristen Wiig. I'm a huge fan of SNL, Skeleton Twins, etc. But she was in it not very long. And when she was, there was a dead joke about her having her head shaved which wasn't funny. I had people laughing, rioting in the theatre when I was in there. I literally smirked once throughout the entire movie when Matt Damon is high on a pill. Yes, they even had to put stupid high jokes in this thing. Really a lot, a very little effort went into jokes in this movie. It was just so muddled, I don't understand. It's, uh, <sighs> need to calm down again. Honestly, the story is so jumbled in this movie, literally, and I'm not even kidding you here, like an hour in, I even forgot that they were small, because the entire plot changes from, okay, we're gonna downsize to Matt Damon not really liking it because things happen, and then it goes to the end of the fucking world. Huh? Okay, I know I don't normally do spoilers, but at this point I don't really give a shit because if you literally sit down to watch this movie like I did, you've only got yourselves to blame. That really was this movie's entire issue. It didn't know what it wanted to be. It was trying to be funny. It was trying to be serious and talk about the world and what we should be doing. It was just, it didn't know. It wanted to be a film for the people, but ended up just being a huge steaming pile of nothing. I felt nothing for anyone because it just seemed like everyone just rolled with the punches because it looked like sometimes and there was a huge moment for me that really pissed me off. 
they're small on a boat obviously they've gone to a certain area and rather than doing a really cool like swipe in fade and making you really feel the ambiance and the size of this place he just does a quick arrow like this a quick arrow that's it it's so basic an editing technique it was really lazy like literally anyone could do that I just did he did that in a Hollywood movie starring Matt Damon you just should know better than that this movie just seems so lazy yet tries to be all-encompassing I really don't understand how it was made and how it got through people and how Matt Damon really got involved I really don't so this movie tries to be a comedy nope a drama about our own lives no and tries to tell a message <coughs> no and on top of all that this movie at times a lot of the time rather than cutting to the really important things it drags out things like walking from a car to a building or anything mundane like that is just drawn out so dull there was actually points where I was thinking about getting my phone out because there was something better to do like checking Twitter or something genuinely haven't done that since the since the Transformers movie last year Wow I just compared Alexander Payne's directing to Michael Bay's I think I'm probably going to hell Okay, look, I give in. It's not just all bad things. I do like Matt Damon. I think he's a good actor. I think he was just giving a stupid script. He really was trying his best. The reason I sat through this movie and didn't move is the one and only, the impeccable Christoph Waltz. We all know who he is. The man is a genius. His comic timing in this movie kept the whole thing for me. He should have been in it more. I really think that the story between Matt Damon's character and Christoph's character would have been more exciting than this mess, this total mess of a script actually was. If it wasn't for him, I would have walked out and given you half a review. Okay, guys, I think it's obvious, but this is my... This is a never-before-seen thing. I'm going to give Downsizing a 0 0.5 out of 5. Well and truly one of the biggest pieces of shit I've ever seen, the messiest thing I've ever seen. If it was not for Christoph Waltz, I would probably give it the shit emoji or something. Anything like that. Because literally I can think of no other redeeming features than a funny man that I've seen in Django Unchained. Literally nothing. I, I just can't explain it enough. So there you have it guys, there is my review of Downsizing. Now if you have seen the movie, as always, let me know down in the comments below. I am so happy to be back, it's 2018, I cannot wait for all the movies that are coming out this year, I can't wait to do everything all over again, it is going to be fantastic. Guys, thank you as always for watching, don't forget to subscribe, do all those things on the socials, you'll know the drill and I'll see you all in the next video.